Good Friday morning. What a great day it is. Yesterday we looked at this futility of seeking what only God knows, but the joy of discovering what God reveals. And he's talking about the pursuit of life and knowing the meaning of life. And then he says, he said, you know what? Uh, uh, what we ought to do is this. In verse 15, he says, I, I commended pleasure for there's nothing good for a man under the sun except to eat and to drink and to be merry. And this will stand by him in his toils throughout the days of his life, which God has given him under the sun. So we kind of go back to see a conclusion that's a, a repeated refrain in the book of Ecclesiastes. I think what he's saying is, instead of obsessing with things we can't ever fully understand, we should pursue them and enjoy them when God reveals them to us. We should get wisdom and knowledge and should be able to live our lives accordingly. He said, but there are times when we ought to remember to put one foot in front of the other and to relax and enjoy what we have. Now, in that, in that time that he lived in, there was nothing better than a great meal uh, where you could relax and, and just sort of rest a little bit. And I think what he's saying here, uh, we would say it in the old days, we'd say stop and smell the roses. We might say we need a little downtime. Uh, we need enough time to reflect on our lives and to really pursue our lives, uh, uh, the meaning of our lives. We need to read the Bible. We need to worship. We need to be intent on that. But then we need to come down to earth and to realize that God blesses us with breath and life every day. And we need to look around and see what God is doing and what he's done. We need to look outside. We need to go outside. And uh, we need to say, you know, Lord, you've made this nature for us. Take a hike, take a walk, do those things. Get some activity, play golf, go to a football game, do whatever it is that causes you to relax a little bit. Not to escape, but to enjoy what's before you. And so we're able to relax and enjoy the journey a little bit. Not everything in life is pleasant. And when we have a moment, if it's just a quiet meal with family members or even by ourselves, if we just have a quiet moment where we can reflect on the goodness and the blessing of God, that's absolutely wonderful. And we should, in fact, do that and appreciate the small things, which are the important things in our lives. There are not many more things more important than eating. Not many things more important than getting a good night's rest. Not many things more important than speaking and being with family members and friends. Not many things more important than just taking a breath from the hustle and bustle and the stresses of all of our lives and coming to just rest for a moment and thank God for those moments. Thank God for what he's given and delivered to us. So why don't you take a time, why don't you take time this weekend to just take a breath and enjoy what God has before you, whether it's in nature or it's just the blessings that you can recount or whatever. Just take time to do that. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for the little things in life, which are really the biggest things in life. And I pray, Father, that we might enjoy you and the benefits of this life that you've given us this week and this weekend. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.